Hey Puma, yeah. do you get any perks? Let me think about it. No. No. You? No. No perks. No. In perk land, if you par the hole, the next hole you get to take a perk. If you birdie the hole, the next hole you get both perks. Remember, it is either a mulligan or any putt within your putter's distance is good. That's right. We're now on hole seven. Yeah. It is actually what is labeled on the scorecard as the number one handicap. And we both left Perkland and said, nah, we don't want that. We like the challenge, yeah, right? Nice. So here we go. This is a tough par four. It does bend to the left. Yep. And it is a very tough driving hole because it forces you right and you do not want to go right. So here's Puma with the big stick. Quit asking. Oh, that'll be just fine. I'll get through. Should be up on the left. Not a great swing, but it will work out. He did it. It's going to be down there, but it's going to be really far left, folks. But he's got the wind at his back. I'm going to guess he'll still have 150 out. Oh, that is disgusting. All right, Puma, you about 150? Are we going back with it? Uh, Are you rocking the schmoog again? I'm going schmoog. All right, Puma's rocking the schmoog. Puma, with the schmoog, stepping up to plate. 150 yards out. Let's see what it can do. He sets. He sets again. Takes off the catcher. I tell you what, the one thing the schmook does do, it's a beautiful straight ball. Looks like it took a kick maybe off the hill just to the right of the green. Yep. Here's what he's got. He's about a hundo out. There's a little bit of a gap in front. Hold it. Did not see that one. Just on to the right of the green. Maybe caught a piece or just in the fringe. I'm about five feet actually right in front of your ball. Okay. Well, with the drive like this. Yeah, that's the disappointing part. Yeah. <laughs> Since I was sitting 70 yards ahead of you, yeah. and now I'm about five Maybe feet. 80. The schmoo talked for you, big dog. It's bilingual. Oh, sure it is. a big miss for me right there i really thought it was gonna break and it did not so i just pushed it and i'm gonna take a very bad bogey right there but puma now has the upper hand puma that's huge for you i did all right there he's now parring which means he gets a perk 
going into a very difficult par three. Yeah, well, on that putt, I called around. At City Church, where I go to church in Fort Wayne, and had them start praying. We spread a prayer ring. Oh, and did they now? Sacrifice the goat. So. Wow, that's an odd kind of church. Well, we're odd eggs. Out there. <laughs> Great par. What are you taking for your perk? I'm gonna go with the mully. All right, we are on hole eight. This is 170 to the front. The pin is about the middle, so it's looking about 180. Maybe 175. Puma with a ball. Oh my goodness. Be so good. Big bounce. You are right on the green just to the left. It's rolling down now. No one can see it because you're sitting in front, but that is all right. Living fine. Folks, if you remember back, I do believe I said Puma likes to get punched in the mouth and then make a run at the end. And guess what he's doing? Oh no. You hit it up high, but it's going to the left. I'm gonna guess down by that sign. Okay. Yikes. Pulls the yikes on it. The bigger question is now as we walk off this tee box, can I hold on? <laughs> can I hold on, Puma? You have pure grips. No, I have no perks. You're on the green with the mulligan. Yeah. You could put, take a birdie and roll up with two perks into the final hole. We'll see what happens. I've seen worse, I've seen better, I've seen the same. <laughs> a little mayonnaise on that, you got yourself a sandwich. This channel is anti-mayonnaise. The end does not stand for mayonnaise, that is for sure. Hey, bring out the helmets, bring out the vest. Uh, hey, seriously though, quit asking! Quit asking! I did not see that. Did it go there? It went over there. Okay. We're, we're gonna take a little walk. Hey, okay, big hitter wanted to lay out over to the side here. I'm gonna be real honest with you folks. Hey, big plans for that shot. Those plans went south. awry from the get-go. They went south. South from the get-go. Alright, big hitter stepping back up. Same call except minus the tree. <laughs> yeah, about the same same shot. That's a good looking shot. Good looking shot. That's what I wanted to do over there, folks. Unfortunately, it did not happen. <laughs> Knock right in, Puma. Puma for par here. Excuse me, Puma for birdie. He's got a mulligan. Are you gonna take the mulligan there and take the for sure par? Or are you gonna take another chance up there? Back there for birdie. You take your mulligan here, it's a gimme. All right, he's taking the easy par. That is a huge swing of events right there. Ouch. That's a double. That's a double, and Puma took apart. I tell you what, things probably tightened up a bit in the garden. I think you're ahead by either one or two now. Oh my goodness. Yep. Well, let's get a count. Let's see what we're looking at going into the final hole. All right, Puma. Yep. I believe I am one ahead of you, and you are now in Perkland, and I am not. Correct, I'm gonna take the mully. My, how the things have just tightened. Tightened up, this is a par five. Yep. Puma, you're taking the mully. I am. All right, here we go, final oh, hole. Yes, they are. Final hole, par five, Puma in Perkland, down by one. Can he make a last minute run at it? Puma, do you have anything to talk about while you're making your run? number of things going through my head right now. Yeah. One is, why did I skip school that one day in my junior year and go play video games? Why did you? Keith. Keith wanted me to. Ah. And Dirk Colgrove. 
Yeah. Second thing running through my head right now is I need some ice cream. Okay. Well. Third thing running through my head right now. Uh huh. Get it over the water and then the play. All right, let's go. Make it happen. Here we go. Puma down one, and he's living in Perkland. Oh, Puma is loving life right now. He is up the left-hand side, just absolutely crushed, and through the gap. That's a ball. Oh, right over the top of that. That was a top gun missed the mountain kind of thing. It went That's high. Funny. It went high. Yep. What's your thought after that? It was dangerous. Some might say I was living on the edge. All right, Puma is a big shot. Got your drive out here. It's in play, like you said, just on the left. You're about 230 off the green. You need to ideally make something happen. You're down one, but you have your mulligan in your back pocket. I'm assuming you're just going to rip for it. Right off the toe, out to the right. It's dangerous. It, yes, you do. The beauty of Perkland, you hit that off the toe, probably out into the driving range, which is considered out of bounds for this hole. So he will be cashing in is Perkland Mulligan. This is a big shot. Big shot. Let's see what he can do. There we go. That's the beauty of Perkland. Oh my goodness. You are so sexy. Down there pretty good. You're so sexy. That's the beauty of Perkland. I did just come from the beauty parlor. For sure. Yeah, you did. And he did just that. Curving around. It's going to the left side, but that is deep. Boy, Puma, you couldn't draw it up any better for TV. We are literally 20 feet from each other. I'm up one. And we got ourselves a nice little chip battle. Usually you pay double for that kind of action, Cotton. Yeah, we're about 30 yards off, 30 yards away from the pin. Let's see what we can do here. Why don't you just make it for Eagle and just end this? Go home? Yeah, end it. Uh oh, that is a dot. Sit. Sit. That, that was a great shot. Mine hit and went a little too hard. He's going to... Here's the shot. Maybe a little short. Uh-oh. We got ourselves a battle. I tried to get too cute after his roll deep. And now I am still short, and he is up on the green. This is not looking good. This is what we like to call a collapse. So if I get this down in two, we tie? Yep. All right, so here's the situation. I flubbed the chip again, and if Puma gets this down in two, we tie. If he makes this, he wins. You gotta think he's gonna try and play the lag putt. Oh my goodness. What we have here, folks, is a knee knocker to tie. Well, why did I? Why, oh why, I really want you to make this and make great television. Do it for the people. This is to tie. This is to tie. 
tide right now. Hello. Oh my a goodness. Wow. I'm not to be real honest. I collapsed. And uh, there's not much more I could have done right there. And uh, Puma just, <laughs> you felt bad for me. Let's just call it what it is. You felt bad. No, no, no. And you gave it to me. Nope. Because I could have, I mean, I did everything I could to lose yeah, at that point. Yeah, you did. I just, I want to say, first of all, Mrs. Bruner, my third grade teacher, thanks for everything you did for me. Sure. My girlfriend, Lisa May. Yep. You were something else. Yeah. Curls in your hair. For sure. Finally, I just want to say congratulations, big hitter. Thank you. You, uh, you earned it. You hung on. Thank you. You got pure grip gloves on. Thank you. Thank you. Finally. Thank you. Did I do finally? Ah. Finally, I just want to get home and be consoled by my supermodel wife. <laughs> oh. Thank you. Thank you. Well, folks, hope you enjoyed the third uh, episode of Perkland. We do have a little uh, tradition here. You are the king, and that is your ball. I get the ball, and I am the king. If you enjoyed Perkland, you know what to tell them? Do you remember? Click the button. Smash that like button. <laughs> Check you guys later. <laughs> Mwah. Cutty. Little kid Cuddy in it. Yeah, okay, naked kitty. Little Cuddy Sark. Ooh, Cuddy Sark. Don't know who that is. That's uh, an adult beverage. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> three went after dark. Again with the three went after dark. Quit asking!